springs qualia. Red, redness of crimson, yesteryear's happiness covered with silence. She was beautiful from any angle you looked at her, any perception that could make you aware of her presence. There was tenderness in her voice, innocence in her gaze, love in every line, in every curve, in every expression of her face. Her crimson lips, softer than the silk of roses or any other flower, whenever they smiled, they made you feel peace. But nothing made me feel the fire, reddened, silent, destructive, that from the depths was consuming her few autumns that were all my happiness as bright and dazzling as the fiery sky of the aurora that to the shepherds in the highlands and the sailors on the high sea foretells the terrible storm. I saw all signs, but no warnings, not the cross at the entrance of accidents and emergency, nor the handwritten note which also in red added, no companions allowed. With the sad hue, of her crimson lips, she smiled briefly at me with the faint and dull shadow of that springtime. She sent me a kiss saying, goodbye my love, and unbeknownst to her, goodbye world, goodbye life.